So you're thinking of moving to Tampa, Florida, but you want a quieter, a little slower pace of living. So maybe you're thinking the outskirts like the suburbs. Well, Lando Lakes might be your place. From the master plan communities with all the bells and whistles like clubhouses, bike trails, uh, A-rated schools, parks and playgrounds, to half acre lots or more where you can have your boat in your backyard and lakeside living. Lando Lakes has it on. In today's video, we're gonna show you everything, including some of the best shopping, entertainment, and restaurants around the area. If this is the information you're looking for, stay tuned, because we're jumping into a full vlog tour of Lando Lakes right now. Welcome if you are new here and new to me because I make videos all about living in the Tampa Bay area including the suburbs just like Land of Lakes. So if you like what you see consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing that little bell so you're notified every time we do a new video. And if you're thinking about moving to the area see that number on the screen give us a call send us a text shoot us an email however you like to get a hold of us. My team and I would love to help you with your transition to the Tampa Bay area. Let's get into this video. All right, guys, we are jumping into this video all about Land of Lakes, and I'm gonna cover every nook and cranny because I really want you to get a good feel for what it's like living here. You know, if you're wanting to move to Tampa, Florida, and you wanna get outside the city, you want a quieter pace of living, uh, this is where it's at. You know, the master plan communities, like the one I'm walking in right now, Bexley, and I, and I will show you that, it's amazing, and the families, you know, that come here because they have the A-rated schools and all of the bells and whistles, um, but guys, it's not limited just to families. You know, there's a 55 plus community, Dell Webb, maintenance free living that is absolutely amazing, attached to Bexley. Maybe the grandparents wanna come too, you can golf cart right over there. If you want a little more space, you wanna spread out, you want a half acre with a little bit more land with horses and all that, maybe a boat in your backyard because it is Land of Lakes, um, they have that here too and we're gonna cover that community as well. As far as the shopping, guys, living here, the reason that people come to Land of Lakes is because it's quieter, but if you look at my last video that I just did on Wesley Chapel, you can see the amazing shopping there. That's only 10 to 20 minutes away. If you wanna hop over to the airport because maybe you're a pilot, maybe you travel for work, it's only 25 to 30 minutes away and the best beaches in the country, St. Pete Beach, Clearwater Beach, etc. Those are less than an hour away. It's an awesome place to live if you want master plan communities, if you want a little bit more of a rural setting. And if you just want those A-rated schools, guys, this is an amazing setup and you're just right outside of everything in your own little area that has everything for you. So let's jump into this video. All right, we are kicking things off here at Bexley. It's a master plan community right in Land of Lakes. One of the top communities, which is why I'm starting here. They do still have new construction. However, they started about three years ago. Uh, right now I'm walking in between two of the main parks that they have here. They do have about six to seven parks. So a very active community for adults and for kids. You can see soccer fields and uh, playgrounds behind me. You know, right behind me over here, one of the really cool things if I was a kid, uh, they have a BMX track with a, uh, with a bike ramp. I know if I was a kid, I'd have at least one broken arm playing here, but hey, that's what being a kid's all about. Love it when my kids get outside and play, get dirty, skin up some knees. Uh, the other thing that's really cool about this community is they have an amazing school here, Bexley Elementary, located right in the community because they built it that way. They have over a thousand homes here and they wanted their kids to have a good school. Bexley Elementary is right here. So the kids in the afternoon, they hop on their bikes. The parents walk them to school. They come home. They don't have to worry about a bus ride or a commute. It's really, really cool uh, add-on here in this neighborhood. Like I said, there's six or seven uh, parks for kids to play at. They have anything from cornhole to these massive slides. Really, really nice setup. The other thing they have here is bike trails. They have over 10 miles of bike trails uh, and running trails. So in the woods, around lakes, they have two different type of surfaces, a hard packed surface as well as a soft pack, uh, packed surface to you know support those running knees. Uh, the other thing is they have high end homes and they have entry level homes. So your entry level is gonna start around the 350 mark all the way up to about a one and a half million on the high end. They also have townhomes and they have apartments at the front of the community. Another huge benefit that I love for these larger families that you know wanna relocate here. I had a family from Chicago relocate here with three generations. They have this community. It supports the, the grandkids, the parents, 
And then right across the street, they have a private road where you can take your own golf cart to Del Webb, which is a 55 plus community. And we're gonna go tap on that in a minute. But for right now, let me drive you around, show you some of these trails, show you some of the neighborhood. The clubhouse, amazing, we started there. They have a kiddie pool, a lap pool. They have a playground there. They have wine nights because they have community events. Uh, this is an amazing community and it's definitely one to put on your radar if you're looking for you know a master community with all of the bells and whistles in land of lakes let's go all right walking through the streets here you can see these awesome homes and elevations uh great quiet neighborhood and that's that there's construction in the area it's still so nice and quiet uh you can see in the background they're building right back there as well as you can see the tree line so if you do end up getting a conservation lot it's nice to have that uh that preserve in your backyard uh, but one thing i forgot to mention if you're a dog lover i totally forgot to mention they have two dog parks one for big dogs one for small dogs to separate them because the big dogs do get a little rough it's an amazing uh, addition to have here aside from those parks coming to the schools they have bexley elementary which i mentioned before they also have a montessori here so if you have young ones like i do two-year-old they have daycares right on site um, when you come out of here as far as eating there's tons of eating right off of highway 54 uh, restaurants uh, grocery stores things like that they're gonna have that in the area as far as these homes go you're looking at around 400,000 at this point four hundred thousand dollars to get in here upwards of 650 we're gonna go up to the higher end but this is what you're looking at for a four hundred thousand dollar house maybe 450 amazing amazing elevations it doesn't get much better and by the way we're talking 2,000 to 2,500 square foot house that's pretty nice in this community kids being able to walk to school doesn't get too much better all right here we go all right so sun's coming out so I threw on my little cheapo Tampa sunglasses I'm repping my city uh, either way we've got the higher end homes here these are starting off at the 800,000 mark going up to about one and a half million you can see this is a nice cul-de-sac right behind me uh, amazing looking homes by the way guys uh, one thing I wanted to say is that this community is very military friendly while the base is not here uh, the McDill Air Force Base is down south uh, south of the city uh, they do treat their military well in fact if you get deployed or you have to be out of uh, the house for a extended time they will actually maintain your yard for you if you're in the military it's a really really nice perk the other thing is with the clubhouse, like I mentioned before, community events, they have wine nights, they have a fitness club. Earlier we were over there, they were starting yoga on the lawn. So a lot of things to do, an amazing community. As you can see, it's beautiful here. Uh, we obviously have Tampa weather, so you can't beat that. And the last thing I wanted to mention is that Bexley, as a neighborhood, they want you to be outside. They have the community events that yoga on the lawn and things like that, but they really, Put an emphasis on playing outside the parks the dog parks the trails and guys these trails have a uh, fitness uh, a fitness circuit on them where they have the trx bands they have pull-up bands they have all that you could just be a runner but if you want to get a really good workout in go ahead and do that circuit training as well as walk through some of these uh wooded trails it's like you're on a hiking trail in your own neighborhood anyway guys let me let the drone do its work i'm going to show you around this place enjoy this video and we're going to move on to the next neighborhood All right, just left Bexley and came over to Del Webb. This is the 55 plus active community. And it is just that. They have an amazing, amazing clubhouse, probably more active than what Bexley gives you, which is kind of hard to believe. But they have pickleball courts, they have a resort style pool, they even have a waiting uh, sauna, or I'm sorry, spa type pool. It is absolutely incredible. I've sold a few homes and my clients are thrilled to live in here. In fact, they were going into retirement and living here. It put them into retirement because there's so much to do. They, they couldn't just sit still. They were like, I'm done working, I'm ready to play. 
So if you're 55 plus, if you have kids or family that's in Bexley and you wanna be able to golf cart on the private road that's less than a mile away, and you wanna see your grandkids, but you want your own space or privacy, I definitely think you should consider Del Webb. Now, if you want a in, more in-depth look at this, I've done, I've done just that in this video, so you can check that out. Otherwise, guys, Bexley, amazing community, Del Webb, awesome if you're 55 plus and you wanna live near family. Let's keep going. I'm gonna show you Plantation Palms. All right, this man's getting hungry because I'm showing you around uh, Lando Lakes here with this vlog. Had to stop at a local spot, Hungry Harry's Barbecue. Check out that brisket I just scooped up. Great local restaurant in the area, Hungry Harry's Barbecue. The other spot is right across the street, Ukulele Brands. Really, really, really cool casual uh, restaurant with a little deck outside, live music playing, or sometimes just soft music playing. Overlooking the lake, great for a burger and a nice cold beer, and you know I like my beer. Next, we're headed over to Plantation Palms, so might as well talk about Mulligans. It's an Irish casual dining in the clubhouse. Great place if you live in the neighborhood. It pit stop over, grab a bite to eat. If you want a upscale, really nice restaurant, I strongly encourage you to go to Benedetto's, an Italian restaurant, kind of a Rat Pack theme, a little Frank Sinatra piano playing inside. Really good, take the lady out, take the missus out for a nice date night. Um, the garlic knots they start you off with are awesome. High end from sea bass, the chicken piccata, your pasta dishes. They also have a really cool thing there. They have an exotic food menu. I know that because they have uh, lionfish, antelope, bison, really cool eclectic menu. If you're not into that, you just want your Italian, great food. If you want to try something new, go check that place out. All in all, these are the local spots. You can easily head over to Wiregrass, uh, right in Wesley Chapel, only 10, 15 minutes away. So you have the benefit of Wesley Chapel, but you don't have to live in the traffic. You can live over here, a little bit slower pace of life. Great thing about Land Lakes. Let's go see Plantation Palms. All right, we are taking a nice stroll through Plantation Palms, one of my favorite neighborhoods out here in Land Lakes. There's a ton, by the way. I showed you three awesome ones today, but Plantation Palms is an established neighborhood, beautiful community. I mean, you could look around and see the styles of homes here. And guess what, guys? You're getting these homes for 350,000 to upwards of 700. That's an amazing price for such a beautiful community. Guess what? Another thing that stands out about Plantation Palms, no CDD fees. So yes, you have a golf course. You have Irish, uh, an Irish pub or, uh, or a restaurant bar that you can go to uh, to just grab a bite to eat. They have miniature golf for the kids. There is so much to do here in such a beautiful, beautiful neighborhood. The trees are established uh, and, and, and mature trees and landscaping, which sometimes you don't get in those newer communities. So really coming through here, it's a gem. And I want to share something with you. Some, it was a beautiful story. I walked into the Irish pub uh, real quick. I say Irish pub, it's an Irish restaurant, but walked in there and ran into the Elmores. That's a family that just relocated here. Three generations relocated here from Chicago. The father, Bill and, uh, and Nancy, they moved here and they moved in Plantation Palms because they, they didn't like the new communities. They wanted more of an established neighborhood with something with good bones at a good price. And they found an amazing pool home right here in Plantation Palms. So they're here, their kids, Matt and Jillian, they're visiting. They actually bought in Bexley 10, 15 minutes down the street with their little ones. So you have grandparents, kids, which are grown adults, with grandbabies. How amazing is that to live in the same suburb, Land of Lakes, 10, 15 minutes apart, you get new construction over at Bexley. You get plantation palms if you want a nice, well-established neighborhood with all the amenities, and you guys can hop over and visit each other anytime you want. It was such a special moment bumping into him because I haven't seen him since I last sold them a house, and it was really nice. I might even pit stop over there and say hello, but guys, it's an amazing thing. If you're relocating here, give us a call. Let me keep showing you around Plantation Palms. Let's get in the air. I'm gonna show you the golf course, the mini golf course. They have mini golf for kids. Let me show you all of Land Lakes and Plantation Palms. I love it. Okay, so one thing I wanna add about this amazing community 
is that there's this cool little section right in here uh, that are maintenance free villas. So if you're, and by the way, they're standalone villas, which is pretty unique, kind of like a small home. So if you're somebody that wants maintenance free living, they do have that in here. And guys, these houses right here that are behind me, they're only 300,000, 325,000 for a maintenance free villa in this amazing community. It doesn't get much better. The other thing I want to talk about is the restaurants in the area. Yes, we touched on Mulligans, but we are only, only 10 minutes away from the Tampa Premier outlets. That's amazing. We're over here in this awesome community, kind of off, not the off the beaten path, but off of Highway 54 in Lana Lakes, which is a little bit quieter than Wesley Chapel. Love Wesley Chapel, by the way, and I will do a video on Wesley Chapel compared to Lana Lakes. However, a lot of people that are turned off by the traffic of Wesley Chapel, because it is bustling and it's, a, it's a, an exploding area, decide to come here 10 minutes away in this awesome community, maintenance-free living, golf course community, golf cart community, and awesome for the families. So let's keep going. All right, so we made our way out to Lake Pageant Estates. And earlier in this video, I did mention to you that there are gonna be areas that have a little bit more land. You could stretch out a little bit more, have uh, lesser of that HOA master plan community type feel. Um, this is the neighborhood. You have half acre to an acre, sometimes even more in some of these areas. Uh, the Lake Pageant Estates, which is what we're in right now, you see about a third to a half acre, sometimes a little more in Lake Pageant South and a few of those areas is where it starts to open up a bit. You can have boats in the back of your house. As you can see, we're lakefront here. There's water all over this place. We are in Land Lakes. There's a ton of lakes and access to the water here. So if you want a boat in your backyard, you can do it. We're right now sitting in one of the little local parks. There's a ton of little parks in here, fun little areas. Honestly, again, just another great way to experience our awesome weather here. The other thing is they do have an equestrian center so you can have horses in this area as well so again a little bit more rural but if that's your thing it's an amazing neighborhood price wise it starts off in the 200s you can get in here in the mid 200s sometimes upper 200s and on up some of these lakefront homes obviously as you can see maybe in the far distance they're a little bit larger those are going to be probably closer to your 600 to a million uh, but again that's not a bad price to live lakefront. So if this is your thing, definitely consider Lake Pageant. Uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful neighborhood. I can't show it all to you by walking around. I'm gonna go ahead and get up in the air. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, as promised, things to do in Land Lakes. Guys, Land Lakes offers a ton of things to do outside. Yes, we have already touched on the shopping that you can do over the Tampa Premier Outlets or the Wiregrass Mall. That's amazing, and even that's outdoors. But the things to do, right now I'm standing in the Sports Recreation Complex here in Land Lakes. It's a Pasco County uh, Rand Park. They have baseball fields behind me because they have a little league that plays here. They have football fields and soccer fields in the background, as well as uh, vending. They have a very similar park, the Heritage Park, right up the road. They have open fields there for your kiddos to burn off the energy. They also have bike trails galore. So yes, in Bexley and some of these other communities, they have bike trails in the community. But if you're more of a road bike person, which my wife and I have done some triathlons, so we like doing that kind of stuff, um, the Upper Tampa Bay Trail starts over on 54 and the Suncoast Expressway. Over there, it's, I believe it's 42 miles of straightaway biking. Bike your little heart out. Okay, the last thing I want to talk about, the odd one here, is go up north about 10 minutes, it's still in Land Lakes, Tampa Bay clay shooting. This place is wild, kind of wild western style, you can shoot clay targets, they even have an obstacle course set up, you can rent a gun there, a shotgun there, totally safe by the way. You can also practice bow shooting and they have instructions there as well. I did that with a couple of buddies of mine, it's a great time, by the way, no drinking and shooting. Um, outside of that guys, amazing neighborhoods we've seen parks, communities, things to do, beautiful lakes, beautiful weather. It's a place to be. If you're looking to move to Tampa, Florida or the suburbs, give us a call. See that number on the screen? We'd love to help you with your transition to Tampa, Florida. Come see Land Lakes.